members of the media were treated to some exciting plays during their first look at the newest Baltimore Ravens on the team's second day of rookie camp. The NFL is totally different from college. New quarterback Lamar Jackson drew the bulk of the attention, and his new head coach likes what he sees. I thought he was accurate. You know, you, you read the reports and stuff like that, but you know, he's, he's a naturally talented thrower. Jackson flashed as both a runner and passer in an up-and-down performance, but says he's getting comfortable. Going through practices and, you know, um, doing different runs and different techniques and stuff, I feel, you know, I can go to NFL pace right away. Still, Harbaugh and Jackson agreed he has a number of things on his to-do list. I mean, from the play clock to the formation to, to not saying to play, to, to taking the snap, to the, the fundamentals of what they have to do. Well, just a lot of film work, a lot of studying, um, watching yourself, you know, um, watching film on yourself. Uh, studying the playbook even more. Despite the excitement surrounding Jackson, coaches remain adamant that this is still Joe Flacco's team, who Jackson says he still hasn't talked to yet. But that doesn't mean Jackson won't see the field. We're going to always try to get our players making plays for us. You know, Lamar is a guy that can, uh, can help us win games. Jackson and Flacco will both be helped by the new tight ends, Hayden Hurst and Mark Andrews. Oh, they live. That mean they great. <laughs> <laughs> Ravens fans should expect plenty of production from Hurst, their other first-round draft pick, who was a favorite target of Jackson's in practice. It's pretty cool having a Heisman-winning trophy uh, quarterback throwing you the football. So, I mean, he's going to make plays. It's what he does, and I'm just excited to get open for him. We'll see if Hurst, Jackson, and the rest of the rookies can keep it up when the pads come on against the Vets. In Owings Mills, I'm Stephen Pimpo.